Hello, welcome back to Blender Sushi Live Noting. In this episode, we're gonna take a look at the creations of this uh, rainbow-like uh, flower icon. And uh, you might have seen this on uh, on some apps. Um, basically, this is similar to the Philotaxis, except that I'm going to create the leaves um, procedurally. And then we're gonna do the coloring and using the transparency. It's all procedural. Um, yeah, it's uh, I'm using Sphere Chalk and Animation Notes for this. So as you might have guessed, the coloring is done using Animation Notes. But Sphere Chalk is uh, used to create this uh, this uh, flower. It's not it's not actually that complex, but I'll take you through, and you will definitely learn something by creating this. You can it's kind of similar to Pilotaxis, like I said, but you will see I'll do it differently and the flower is not as complex as the file of taxis. okay compositing file save uh, file save as insv flower rainbow save First, we're gonna start by creating the leaf or the petal of the flower. Okay, how do you do that? There are many ways to do this. Um, there is no right or wrong. I guess I will start with a line. View, draw. Um, yeah, vertices and edges. So we have this line, okay? Um, from this line, you can see this is uh, currently traveling in the x-axis. You can kind of shift this uh, this line to the left or to the right. You already know how to do it. You use vector math and you use add. And by doing, uh, you can use vector in and you can shift it to to the to the left or to the right using the y um, okay that's a uh, that's simple enough you can use the float range and let's have a look so you can use a range or count i think we're going to use step for this one um, and using step the count should be let's see the count should be the same as the the line number so we're gonna use integer input just plug this guy in there and here okay now we have we have line that's traveling between X and Y that's not exactly what we want but um, we have some control here and here so that's a uh, important. What really want is really just like a like a leaf, you know, something that's looking like that. So we we're gonna make one edge first. So let's get rid of the grease pencil. And okay, how do we do that? We can use um, because if you look at this these numbers at the moment. This is like a 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. This is like a, just like a number going up. So we can use math and sign. And by using this, I believe we get a like a wave pattern. And with a wave pattern, half of the cycle is actually creating this kind of leaves. So we can definitely use that. Currently, it's uh, it's kind of going that like that, and we can control the sampling and kind of try to get the one we like. Um, perhaps I can also use math right here to control the the scaling. So just look at the the, the half of this sine wave. So we can definitely use that. 
um, start and step range. Uh, don't worry about all that. I think we can. Here we can use another math and then make it absolute. Uh, where's absolute? There we go. So now if you check again, the the sine wave now becoming it's only like a one side. It doesn't go through the zero to the other side. So that's a uh, that's what we need. There must be like a better better setup for this, but I I quite okay with this and because we can still adjust the leaves and and also the size of the li the leaves like that um, like the you see the amplitude of the sine wave of course it's not perfect but it's not too bad either so we can use definitely just use this um, for the other side of the leaves we just gonna mirror it so we have one side and we can have the other side um, the other side we just use mirror with the mirror often I don't know which one to use we're just gonna check the result you're not getting anything there this one I think the mirror nodes can be in, um, enhanced and I think axis will do the job yeah that's doing it exactly and then we just need the edge okay we have our leaves not too bad um, I actually want it the other way around but don't worry about that for now I'm just going to kind of loft it using UV connection UV connection is super useful sometimes I actually use UV connection a lot we can simply um, pipe in this guy and this guy which is the the points of two lines and then the results hopefully is our loft lofted leaves there we go it's almost almost there um, V direction no slicing okay that's perfect would be nice to be able to resemble um, the middle part but we don't worry about that we're just gonna work with this guy matrix in and let's see how do we do this um, let's use line to duplicate this guy duplicate it up upward currently it's duplicating the leaves that way we don't want it we just gonna use vector out and vector in to change the directions of the line okay now we have this cool um, the next thing we do um, is just to rotate this guy so for the rotation um, Z axis and this is gonna be I think zero zero one and the angle let's see if we just have a single angle you'll see this guy will rotate the leaves all of them at the same time if we have um, map we have float um, range float let's say um, we can do it in many different ways. This, I think, this will do. Start, stop, count. Oh, actually, this doesn't work. Sometimes I do this quite often. Plugging float into float, it doesn't work. Okay, that's better. That's definitely better. Um, I think we have it except for the number okay we need, we need to make sure the count of this guy is the same as this guy 
Okay, now we have it. We have our flower, maybe 10 of them. This should be good. Um, the start and the and see, um, there's a better way actually to do this. We can use um, range float zero zero to one, and then the, we use a map range zero to one, zero to three sixty. I think this is better. Well, actually, it's the same like before, <laughs> but ah, I think we have one leaves over. Range zero count map range. Well, I think step is better. Twelve and thirty. <coughs> this way we don't we don't have the duplicates. And there you go. That's our flower. Okay, we are almost pretty much done here. Um, let's clean up. So these are our flower petals. One, two, three, four, four. Yeah, that's pretty good. And then we want to output the the B mesh. Fewer B mesh. And then plug this guy in and plug that guy in and the matrix. This uh, we don't merge it, just group it. Um, and then we're gonna give it a material. For the material, this is Blender render. I'm going to turn on object color and then I will also turn on let me check real quick with object color you can colorize this easily and then you can also use the transparency and this should be GLSL I think that's working. Um, maybe I need a light. Sunlight. Yep, we are we we have the transparency there, so that's good. Now just um, name this material transparent mat, or just a flower mat, and just apply it there. So we are using the flower mat for all the objects. Okay, now let's switch to, uh, let's turn on, let's name this first, this is flower petal, animation nodes, and this is color rise flower. Um, we start with um, objects from group, our object is uh, this flower from uh, sphere chalk, and turn off always and turn on this guy so it's a lot faster now we're gonna loop this real quick I will colorize this flower you already uh, seen me doing this many many times it's just object attribute out um, object attribute output and this object uh, the, the attribute of color and then we just need to use um, combine color and get the color we want. Currently, it's gonna be like like that for one color for all of them, and we can adjust the alpha. But we want it like a rainbow color, right? So just use math. The index number divided by iterations, which is the total number, and then divide it, and we get the hue. There you go. Very quickly, we get this. Uh, their famous um, logo 
there you go and then you still have control over this flower if you go back to spread joke and then let's see play around with the the size of the petal maybe not too much and maybe oh that's not good um, maybe the stepping that's interesting um, maybe the length of the line it's looking better and then we can have more or less of the petal maybe 24 24 is gonna doing the same thing um, maybe 30 and 12 here now oh, we're getting white I just hit update and then animation notes is updating um, yeah that's pretty much what I want to show you it's a it's rather simple but still an interesting exercise and then if you if this is your like your beginning kind of like a you're learning first time you're learning square chalk and animation notes this is how you this is how you use notes and to make something like this um, if you have any question feedbacks or comments you can leave it down below um, I guess that's pretty much it I can I can save the spray chalk JSONs for you to use if you want um, but you can definitely make this more elaborate but this is the simplest I can think of and the f this flower coloring is a uh, it's pretty basic and you will remember this um, again anyway I'll see you in the next video um, yeah